Well, Sarah, Ben, it actually isn't. Congressional Democrats have been pushing for this legislation since 2015, and the bill actually passed the House in both 2019 and 2021, but has never made it through the Senate. With a slim Democratic majority this year, Senators Murphy and Blumenthal tell me they're hopeful the Equality Act's time is now. It literally is a life or death situation. Earlier this month, the human rights campaign declared a state of emergency for LGBTQ plus Americans for the first time ever. It is not about whether or not I can get a mortgage. It is about whether or not my kids are safe, like going to school. The HRC's warning comes amid a spike in violence and what they call legislative assaults, citing more than 75 anti-LGBTQ plus bills signed into law this year alone. Nobody should be denied a loan or housing or any right because of who they are and who they love. Wednesday, Democratic lawmakers reintroduced the Equality Act in Congress, a bill which would expand federal civil rights law to prohibit discrimination based on sex, sexual orientation, and gender identity. Kids are being marginalized by petty, small adults who don't have anything better to do than bully gay, transgender, non-binary kids. Friday, Murphy and Blumenthal recognized work done at the state level in Connecticut to protect LGBTQ plus people, but say it's not enough. We can't fully protect every single Connecticut citizen's rights without the Equality Act. Blumenthal and Murphy blamed Senate rules requiring a 60 vote majority as the reason the Equality Act is yet to pass. But both say now they're seeing more Republican support, something advocates are hoping for. Kids are facing isolation and suicide because they're afraid and because the message they hear over and over again is they don't belong here. Not just here is in Connecticut, but here is in the world. The senators tell me they do have more than 50 votes, but are still working on that 60 vote threshold. They hope to see a vote on the Equality Act before the end of this year. Ben, Sarah.